Hello YouTubers and welcome to the next part of my Raspberry Pi build. I just wanted to show you guys a proof of concept before we get into anything. And also kind of explain the significance of checking your connections one by one as you go. So that way, when you have multiple things connected, you know which one's at fault. Instead of having to go through 30 different connections. So, I just wanted to illustrate that I have my reset jumper done. All my glue, glue, there, glue is cooled. And I have them sitting down. I've soldered them extremely carefully onto P6. I might do a tutorial on how to tin wires properly and get them nice and short so you can get in on that. However, let's give it a try. This is also powered by the USB port on, on my TV, by the way. So, I've hit the power button on my TV. Sorry, it's a no-name. It takes a little bit to come to life. So, we're on the HDMI channel, waiting for it to grab the HDMI signal. Retrieving the data. No signal. Again, my TV takes a little while. It's not the uh, best thing in the world, that's for sure. Sometimes it'll take all the way up into the distribution booting, so I apologize for the uh, lengthy part of this video for no reason. Nobody likes to sit and wait. Okay, clearly it's not grabbing the signal, so I'm just pulling the USB port over here, powering down the Pi, and restarting now that the uh, HDMI port's already sawed on there and engaged. There we go. Okay. As you can see, we have Barry Boot sitting there. We're going to come across over here. And I've pushed in the switch and released it. As you can see, it went away. And there we go. There's Barry Boot once again. So now, as I keep going on, that'll verify that if anything happens in the future, it will not be that. The only thing you can do after that, too, to try to make things a little bit more stable is if you can see on the connections, I have the actual button hot glued, but I do not have the connections isolated and hot glued. I'll be doing that next. Take care.